हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो इट इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन आई हैव डिवाइडेड द रिएक्शंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनो लिथियम कंपाउंड्स इन फाइव कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट इट कैन एक्ट एज ए न्यूक्लियोफाइल इट्स रिएक्शन विद अल्फा बीटा अनसेचुरेटेड कार्बोनल देन वी विल टेक रिएक्शन ऑफ एल्फा हिट्रो आइटम सब्सिट्यूटेड मीन्स कंपाउंड विच इज सब विच हैज अट्रो आइटम एंड इट्स alpha position we will generate organo lithium compound and then we can use electrophiles right so we will take this reaction and then and the most important one is proton abstraction reaction so first is when organo lithium compounds act as a nucleophile nucleophile means it will provide me any minor right and if you write down this molecule in a human projection form beta because it's at in this carbonyl compound at its alpha position we have a chiral center right so when uh, we are using such type of carbonyl compounds as a electrophile then we have to consider certain models we can use felkin and model or we can use krams model so here i am taking felkin ehr model only so first you suppose this is carbon 1 and this is 2 right so we know that we will take carbon 1 as dot and this outer circle is our second carbon and we have to select which one will be our bulkier group or you can say larger group and when we have a electronegative atom right then we have to consider it as a bulkier group so we will place this n benzyl group here and this middle size group will go close to o and this smaller size group that is h will be close to this hydrogen and now we know that our nucleophile will approach from bulky donut angle so it will approach from this side which is less hindered so this is our product and now we can write down it in planar form these two groups which are empty to each other will be written like this right and these two groups which are on the above side will be above the plane and the lower side group will go below the plane and if you want to rotate this 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 carbon you can do right and then we will take next reaction of it that is reaction with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl so organo lithium compounds are harder nucleophile remember this one they are hard nucleophile and if they are hard nucleophile they will attack on hard electrophilic center and in case of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl we have this situation right so our nucleophile can attack on this carbon or it can attack on this one two type of additions are possible one is direct addition second one is conjugated addition and this is this carbon is our soft electrophile and this carbon is hard electrophile so a soft nucleophile will attack on this carbon and hard nucleophile will attack on carbon to carbon right so because this organo lithium compounds are hard nucleophile therefore they will attack on carbon to carbon right so in this case although we have very complex structure but this organo lithium compound will directly attack on this carbon we have simply oh attached here again we have a compound but it is not your alpha beta unsaturated because at in this compound we have double bond placed here not at this position right or if i have a double bond at this position also then there is no role of it because our organo lithium compound is going to be attack on this carbon only so i can write down it like this so first we are using here methyl lithium so first equivalent will remove this hydrogen because it is acidic in nature so it will be removed and li will attach here right and second equivalent of methyl lithium will attack on this carbon and it will attach like this next we are using trimethyl silyl chloride so trimethyl silyl chloride will replace this lithium and then we are doing hydrolysis so ultimately ketonic group attached here right next is the reaction with alkene so in this case here i have iodine attached and here i have a double bond right so whenever i am using a organo lithium compound we use 
low temperature condition right first there is halogen exchange with lithium li will attach here right in next step we are heating this reaction mixture to room temperature nearly room temperature up to 20 degree centigrade right so it will attack on this carbon and this bond will shift it will form a five member cyclic ring and when I will shift this bond here, I have a negative charge here on which Li will attach. Right. Next is we are using a electrophile. So this electrophile will replace this lithium and we have electrophile attached here. We can have electrophile, we can have carbonyl compounds as electrophile, alkyl halides, right, acyl chlorides. And important point is these two groups will be cis to each other right so we will predominantly have cis isomer so you can do this reaction but this point is important remember this part right then fourth reaction is this is very important reaction the reaction of alpha hetero substituted organolithium compounds so in this reaction we are using alpha amino organolithium compounds so first we have to generate alpha amino organolithium compounds then we can use them with electrophiles right here I have a secondary amine so I I can write down the structure of secondary amine like this so on this secondary amine if I am directly using a organolithium compound this organolithium compound cannot remove a hydrogen from this it should remove hydrogen from the carbon adjacent to hetero atom right it can remove this one but these amines are unreactive in nature direct lithiation is not possible so when i substituted this secondary amine with a group like this this is this structure is called formamidine then it will become reactive in nature and it can participate in organolithium right so now i can use butyl lithium which will remove a hydrogen from this methyl and it will form CH2 minus and on this CH2 minus I can attach lithium right it can form a complex with this C2 atom nitrogen next step is I am using a electrophile here so it will attack on this carbon and Br will be removed right so I have this one right in next step I am doing its hydrolysis so this group will remove this imine group will be removed and I have H attached here this one is final product so ultimately what I am doing I am doing alpha amino I am using alpha amino organolithium compounds through this process through this step I am generating alpha amino organolithium compound these alpha to this amino group this is alpha carbon next to this amine group is a organolithium compound attached with lithium so it is alpha amino organolithium compounds and we are using these compounds with electrophiles right so we can take multiple example based on this one also so in this case i am using a six member heterocyclic ring so again i am using a butyl lithium and in addition to this i am also using tmeda tmeda is tetramethyl ethylene diamine so it is a diamine ligand and it can help us in chelation right it is helping us in chelation and forming a stable organolithium compound so what it will do it will remove a proton from this position alpha to this nitrogen and lithium will attach now i can use electrophiles and this lithium will be removed and electrophile will attach at this point, right Another example based on this one is again I am using butyl lithium but this time I am using minus negative spartine. It is also a diamine ligand but it is chiral in nature and due to its chirality we can have a optically pure type of product means it will selectively form this type of organolithium compound and when I am using a electrophile here it will give me this type of optically pure product right so this is the important of importance of using a chiral diamine ligand next is 
another way to form alpha amino organolithium compounds we are generating here organolithium compounds we have seen these reactions that how we can generate organolithium com alpha amino organolithium compounds and then we are using these alpha amino organolithium compounds in further reaction so another way of creating these alpha amino organolithium compounds is use of alpha amino organohistidine so we have this organohistidine group histidine means tin so we have organohistidine group attached at alpha position and we can use these compounds with butyl lithium and they will show tin lithium exchange what is the meaning of this means i will get directly this type of product simply this group will be replaced by lithium there is exchange of these groups so what is the benefit of this or you can say properties of this tin lithium exchange is it will show retention in configuration if i am using a electrophile then i have two possibility that either this electrophile will attach on the same side of this lithium or it can attach from the opposite plane so how we can decide that on which side a electrophile will attach most of the time when we are using carbonyl groups as a electrophile then there is retention retention means i will get this type of product for you can say it is a category so i will get a type of product when i am using carbonyl as a electrophile and if i am using alkyl halide as a electrophile then i will get inversion in configuration right so this this way is also possible for alpha amino organolithium compound generation then next property is proton abstraction proton abstraction means when i am using a organolithium compound then this organolithium compound can act as a base we have seen its properties as a nucleophile it can also act as a base and when it is acting as a base and removing a proton then proton should be acidic in nature so we should know that which type of proton can be acidic right so i will just give you a brief summary about the what type of protons can be acidic when it is close to a heteroatom it can be acidic heteroatom means oxygen nitrogen sulfur sulfur and when it is when the removal of proton generating a aromatic system then it will be your acidic proton this type of carbonyl then this carbonyl will attack on this carbon and we are going to remove so why it is not attacking on this one if you remember played in book some week then there i have told you that two type of attack can be possible sn sn2 and sn2 prime right so for allyl allyl halides these two mechanism can be possible and we have to decide that which type of mechanism will be followed on the basis of structure of your allylic halide so this carbon is hindered in nature because attached with two methyl groups that is why this mechanism this prime mechanism will not be followed right so this nucleophile can easily approach this carbon which is not hindered right so it it will directly attack on this one and i will get this product and if we are using further hg2 hg2 plus and then doing is acidic hydrolysis then i will get carbonyl group attached here i can remove this diethyl group and we will get this product right so this one is very simple example next one we have here a alpha methoxy vinyl compound right this is vinyl and at alpha position we have methoxy group attached so we have one proton attached here so this proton can be removed with this butyl lithium so we will get this organolithium compound then we are using a aldehyde it will attack on this this bond will shift next step we are using acidic we are doing acidic hydrolysis so first a proton will attach with this methoxy group right next step is attack of water it will attack on this one this one we can also write down this enolic form into ketonic form finally we will have this product right then we will take next type of proton 
the proton associated with terminal alkyne we know that when we have a proton next to this with the carbon which is part of triple bond so we have to remove from this one only in a nuclear compound so it will attack on this carbon because halogen exchangeation is very good for the organonuclear compound so when alkyne proton is not available so we have seen in one that we have a proton attached with this double bond it is also acidic nature and maybe we can remove it but in this case in this case we do not have any proton attached here but we have here dia we have proton attached on this carbon but the preference will be given to lithium halogen exchange reaction right so this will be exchange for and we have lithium attached here right so it will be always we have halogen attached in our compound and we are using alternative compound then this reaction will go first right the halogen lithium exchange go first so you will get this compound then in second example again we have halogen lithium exchange but the important point here is there is retention is constant and this lithium will attach on the same side of this br if it is attached like this will take this its position and similarly if br at lithium will take its position right so this reaction is stereo specific this is the importance of this reaction next is fifth type which is also very important that proton extraction in aromatic compound this is called as ordo lithiation when you have properly substituted group in your aromatic compound properly substituted me suppose you have a aromatic compound like this so this x what should be your x this x should be should have a h2 atom which can coordinate with you. so what can be your example of x these all groups can act as other groups are also available which can show ortholiteration so you can easily recognize them if they have h2 atom h2 atom means they will have a lone pair of electron on them and they can show lithium coordination with lithium right because of their coordination with lithium this reaction is possible so this is very important point and third point is which is very obvious that proton abstraction will take place from the ortho position of these groups because as the name suggests it is ortho lithiation means this proton will be removed this one or you can remove so first we will take this example so we have here amide attached and we know that it has hetero atom which can show coordination right so first we will have this compound then we are using dmf right dimethyl formamide this lithium will be removed and aldehyde will attach here right so in this way we can use this ortho lithiation process we can use this organo lithium aromatic compounds we will take one more example which is very good that we are using here two equivalents of butyl lithium and we have two groups attached here both of them can show ortho lithiation this position is ortho to this one and as well as to this one right and in addition to this on this nitrogen we have one proton which is also acidic in nature so this lithium will first remove this acidic nitrogen hydrogen right first step is this one in second step it will remove proton from this position ortho lithiation and lithium will attach here right then we are using we are using this ketone it will attach like this then this oxygen having lone pair of electron will attack here this bond will shift so there is transfer of proton from this oxygen to this nitrogen so i can directly write down it like this then in next step this charge will come back and this group will be removed so what we will get here this one as final product right so this reaction is important we will take some more examples based on this reaction but first we are taking here another another type of acidic proton in five membered heterocyclic compounds right so again in case of five membered heterocyclic compound this proton 
at second position is acidic in nature right so we can easily remove it and this group will attach here this nucleophile will attach here right so this one is very obvious reaction but in second case we have halogen attached here right and we know that this ortho lithiation should this organo uh, this lithium organo lithium compound should attack at second position but whenever you have this halogen attached here then halogen exchange will take place preferentially remember this point right so this reaction will take place first this is not it will not attack at second position now we will do this ortho lithiation reaction again here i have this omom group o methoxy methane group attached here and we have br attached here so whenever i am using this butyl lithium it should attack at proton present here it should show ortho lithiation reaction but as i have told you earlier that whenever you have halogen attached here then halogen exchange reaction will take place preferentially so first reaction will be this one then i am using a epoxide substituted epoxide here so this carbon this is negatively charged carbon this is carbon ion it should attack on this carbon and this ring will open this is less centered carbon so it will attack on this one so i am directly write down here the product so first i will get this product after this second reaction in third step i am using 2.2 equivalent of butyl lithium so first will remove this proton acidic proton second will do ortho lithiation in next step i am using co2 right so i can write down this co2 like this and this carbon having negative charge will attack on this one this bond will shift here so it will form carboxylic group attached here right so you can write down it like this i am directly writing down here okay then i am using this acidic hydro acidic and hydride so it will do this lactonization reaction now you can easily do lactonization reaction that it will take place suppose i am taking only these two part it will attack on this carbon this bond will shift here and when it will come back this will be removed right so after lactonization you will get this compound then in sixth step i am using a acid so this acid will remove this protecting group how it can remove this we can also write down this mom group like this so this acid will provide me h plus and cl minus right so this h plus will attach with this oxygen like this then cl minus will attack on this carbon and this bond will shift so we will get oh attached here in last step i am using this tetra butyl ammonium fluoride so it will remove this group i will get oh attached so this will be my final product so this reaction is also very important then we will take organo magnesium compounds so as i have told you in the starting of video that i am only taking important reactions or unique or you can say unique reaction different reactions of organo magnesium compound because general reaction simple one you all know right so we will take only different reactions so first step first important point is grignard reagents are less basic than organo lithium compounds it should be very clear in your mind that organo magnesium compounds are less basic but they are basic in nature right second point is as a nucleophile their reactivity as a nucleophile so we have seen that how we can do organ use organo lithium compounds as a nucleophile right we have seen we have used felkenhain model but in this case we have magnesium here it can show chelation and because of chelation the product will be different the product will be different from felkenhain model so you should know how we can do chelation reaction it will not be applied we have to change this felkenhain model into chelation model then we can do this reaction right so you have to try this reaction at your own and if you have any problem you can ask me or you can watch my video on felkin ahan model i have discussed the felkin ahan model in carry in clarin book summary then we will take this organo magnesium compound as hydride donor 
hydride donor means it will act as a reducing agent so this property is very unique so i will tell you here few important points that although it is less basic than organo lithium compounds but it can abstract proton next to carbonyl when it will show this reaction when we have bulkier or you can say hindered carbonyl compound and or or your grignard reagent is bulkier we will take this one in our next example so first point is this one second point is its reaction as reducing agent so when this reaction is possible when grignard reagent has beta hydrogen atom then it can show this reduce it can act as reducing agent so we will take this one here right third point is we know all know that it can act as a nucleophile and it will follow chelation model so these points are very very important you should know when to apply all these right so first we are taking the second one in this grignard reagent we have beta hydrogen this alpha hydrogen this one is beta and on this beta carbon we have this beta hydrogen right so how this reaction will take place this h will attack on this carbon right so it will form oh here h will attach and this will be your product this product is very simple but you should know that when you will you will have to apply this one when your carbonyl compound or you can say your ketone is bulkier in size and your grignard reagent should have beta hydrogen atom so in this particular example we will going to discuss all these three points so first reaction is due to this chelation model first we will take that what will be our chelation product so i am directly writing down here product you have to draw its structure in newman projection and then you can apply chelation model and you can then you can only decide that what will be your product due to due to its reactivity as a nucleophile so this product is due to your third reaction as a nucleophile second possibility is when it is acting as a reducing agent so our this grignard reagent has this beta hydrogen it is similar to this one isopropyl group it has beta hydrogen so it can act as a reducing agent so due to reduction you will get this product this is simple reduction reaction that this carbonyl group is converted into alcohol so this is your second reaction last possibility is when it is acting as a base it will abstract this proton next to this carbonyl it will it can abstract this one because our ketone is bulkier as well as our grignard reagent is bulkier in size so you will get this one as a product right this is due to your first possibility so out of these all which will be our major product this one when it is acting as a reducing agent it will give me major product second major product is due to its basic reaction and this nucleophilic reaction which which we consider should be highest will give me the smallest amount of product right so this reaction is very very important then we will take reaction with vinrev amide so whenever you do reaction of this grignard reagent with esters or you can say whenever you want to generate ketonic compounds from uh, your grignard reagent you will never get them because whenever you use grignard reagent they will further react with ketone and they will form alcohol we have we have discussed this point in detailed cladded book summary right so here i am telling you directly that how we can use this vinrev amide and grignard reagent to generate ketonic compound which is not possible in simple way but we can do this reaction using this vinrev amide whenever you have this group attached here this is your vinrev amide another important point about this reaction is here i have two groups one is this amide another one is ester so we know that this grignard reagent can also attack on ester but it will preferentially attack on amide only right so this point is very very important that it is chemo selectively attacking on amide so what should i get after this attack 
this one when this one will shift here this c6 h13 group will attach here and this mg will also coordinate with this nitrogen in next step this bond will break and this will shift here so you will get a ketonic compound directly right next we will take a very very important reaction i have also seen a question based on this reaction in csi and net examination so reaction of grignard reagent with esters in presence of titanium isopropoxide this reaction is called as kulin kulin kovic reaction right so when this reaction is possible when you have grignard reagent esters and titanium isopropoxide so the mechanism of this reaction is not clear in karyothers but i am telling you here in a different way that i am directly first using a ester then suppose our grignard reagent is ethyl magnesium bromide and we are using titanium isopropoxide so first step is reaction of this titanium isopropoxide with this ethyl magnesium bromide two equivalents of this ethyl magnesium bromide will react with this and two group and it will replace two equivalents of this isopropoxide group so two ethyl groups will attach here right next reaction is i can write down three hydrogens here so one hydrogen will attach with this ch2 h5 group and this carbon will attach with this titanium and it will form three member cyclic ring like this next step is the use of this ester so this carbon this carbon will attack on this carbonyl group this bond will shift like this so you will get a five member ring here next step is this bond will break and this methoxy group will be removed so again i will get a three member ring like this next i will again use this grignard reagent so this titanium isopropoxide group will be removed and then we can do its hydrolysis so oh will be attached here right so the reaction is little bit complex but if you do its practice one or two time then you can easily do this one then i will come to the example given in cladden book so this one is given in cladden book so first step is again the same that i will use two equivalents of this grignard reagent with titanium isopropoxide so ultimately i will get this type of product right then we will use this alkene we have alkene here also so we will use this one and it will show exchange of this titanium isopropoxide group with this ring this one right so we will have a product similar to this one right it is also similar to this one next time using ester similar to this step i am again using this ester i am using this ester so this carbon will attack on this group this carbonyl group this bond will shift it will also coordinate with this titanium so i can write down this part as r right so i will get this product then in next step this one so i should also have here oet group right next part is similar to this one this bond will shift here this bond will shift here and this methoxide group will be removed so what i will get here o this one right then i am again use then i will again use this grignard reagent and mgbr will attach here then we will do its hydrolysis similar to these all step right so what i will get here oh group attached here and r here important point is these two bonds should be cis to each other we will predominantly get this type of product so this reaction is also very important try to do its practice multiple time then you can do this one then last and very important point is reaction with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyls so in case of organolithium compounds we have seen that they will show direct addition reaction because they are hard nucleophiles but in case of organomagnesium compound they can show 1 2 addition or they can show 1 4 addition 
so how we can decide that which type of addition will be followed when we have less hindered type of alpha beta unsaturated compounds like alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes or we have unhindered alpha beta unsaturated ketones then direct addition is possible and one four type of addition when we have hindered structures when we have hindered alpha beta unsaturated ketones or if we are using alpha beta unsaturated esters right then one four addition will take place or if i am using if i want that i will only have one four type of addition product then i can also use copper salts right similar to this one so in this case this is alpha beta unsaturated ketone so and our ketone is not hindered and as well as our magne ortho magnesium compound is also not hindered but because we are using here organo we are using here copper salt so it will show one four addition product so i am directly writing down here the product this one will be product because i am using here tmscl trimethylsalyl chloride so it will form sime right so this will be final product so that is that's all about this chapter i hope this video is helpful to you i personally consider that this video contains a lots of important examples and reactions which are useful in net examination as well as in gate so please watch it carefully if you like my videos please share my videos with your friends thank you so much for watching